Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for your lecture series on basic electronics. In this video, we will consider the waveform of fuller rectifier. In the previous video lecture, we considered the operation of fuller rectifier. Here, let me consider the waveform of fuller rectifier. Uh, let x axis indicate omega t and y axis be the input of vi. What is vi? vi is equal to vm sin omega t. So, it, it, it takes a sinusoidal uh, waveform. And let me draw one sinusoidal signal. So this I call it as the input signal uh, VI. Yes. And what is the amplitude of that? Amplitude of that let that, let it be VM. So what is the output I'm going to get for such a waveform? So let me consider. Let me draw the output uh, waveform. Uh, let me just get x-axis and y-axis. Yes. So now uh, x-axis it will be omega t itself. And what is y-axis? Y-axis is going to be now the output waveform Vm. So what I am going to get the output waveform. Just let me draw uh, these dashed lines so that I can draw the waveform uh, very easily. Yes, almost done. And we understood that during positive half cycle of during positive half cycle of the input. Uh, diode D1 is going to consider diode D1 is going to conduct, and I'm going to get the output waveform because of the diode D1. So that's what I'm going to get during positive half cycle. And uh, what is this? This is going to be Vm if I'm going to consider an ideal uh, diode. So that's what I'm I'm going to get during positive half cycle. What happens during negative half cycle? During negative half cycle, diode D2 is going to conduct, and I'm going to get the waveform something like this. And why is this? This is because uh, of the diode D2. And what happens during uh, the next positive half cycle? Again, D1 is going to get conduct, and I'm going to get the waveform because of uh, diode D1. And again, during negative half cycle, diode D2 is going to be forward biased, and I'm going to get the output because of diode D2. This is what I'm going to get. So this is the waveform of a full wave rectifier. The next question is. Uh, uh, one possible doubt is uh, one can ask during negative half cycle I should have got the waveform something like this. So why I'm getting still a positive half cycle? Is that the doubt? If that is the doubt, the reason because of that is the transformer. So let me just consider uh, the transformer uh, here. So what happens is uh, during positive half cycle or negative half cycle, what is the operation of transformer? Transformer, uh, it, it is going to step up or step down the given uh, input voltage. Along with that, it is going to introduce a phase shift at the lower, uh, at the at this point. I said during positive half cycle, during positive half cycle, point A is positive and point B is negative. So why this point is negative? It should have also been positive, right? So why it is become negative? It is because of the operation of the transformer. What is that? It is going to introduce a phase shift over here. The same positive half cycle would look something like this, and that would look like uh, here, something like this at point B. Are you getting it? The same positive half cycle it would appear like this, and the same positive half cycle would appear at uh, with a reversed uh, phase shift at uh, point B. Hence, uh, it makes diode D2 reverse biased. Similarly, during other half cycle, I consider negative half cycle. It appears negative in point B, and it uh, it is going to appear positive in point B. Are you getting it? I said it is going to appear negative as point A, and it is going to appear at uh, positive at point B. Why? It is because of the transformer action. It is going to introduce a phase shift of 180 degree. So that is how I am going to get uh, the operation something like this. So as this is the input and I said V0 equal to VI and uh, we are going to get the output something like this. So if I combine everything I am going to get uh, positive half cycles only. This is what uh, I am going to get. So this we are not going to get anything. Is that okay? So this is the waveform of full wave rectifier. In the videos to come, we'll consider different uh, parameters of uh, full wave rectifier. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.